During the first day of the dives that the Greenpeace team did, uh, we went with the uh, Silliman University representatives. Uh, these are scientists who are conducting a reef check. The reef check's goals are threefold. Uh, one is actually de to determine uh, to what extent has the fish population declined. Uh, the second one is checking on corals. And the third is checking on how fast the recovery is happening. Uh, we found out that in the sanctuary, the recovery is a bit slow. Uh, the fish population has decreased by 50% and they said the coral cover actually um, was affected so much that only 1% remains good. Um, for the next day, our main objective was to help deploy uh, coral modules. These are artificial structures made of natural dead coral so that you can actually encourage new growth. And these were deployed inside the no-take no -take zone marine sanctuary. The main goal there is first uh, to help provide habitats for the fishes who used to live in living coral. And it's also to stabilize the rubble wherein you are encouraging new growth without being damaged again. On the, the marine sanctuary and some of the reefs on the southeastern side were the ones heavily da damaged by the typhoons, but on the western side, it's still really excellent coral cover. They say it's up to 90% or higher. So this means that, you know, even if uh, part of Apo has been damaged, especially the historical marine sanctuary, where everything started in conservation for, of the marine resources in the Philippines, there's still hope. That's why we are working together with local community members, the government, through government agencies such as the DNR and the Protected Area Management Board, the scientists, and most especially um, local experts as well who, are, who have been living on Apo for so long.